Good morning. How are you this morning? Let me know if you're here. So glad you are. Hope you had a great Labor Day. Took a day off and rested from your normal routine. <clears throat> Your cold front's coming in. <laughs> a cold front in Texas, right? Cooler weather is on the way. So excited. Let me know if you're here, if you can hear me. Good morning. How are you? Good to see you this morning. Excited to share with you what God put on my heart and just uh, hope that you can take away with it today and carry it with you throughout the day. I have to put my glasses on so I can see. Hey, Daisha. <clears throat> I love you finally have a little picture on your profile, Daisha. Good job. We'll just wait just a few more minutes, see if... Other people hop on. If you're watching already, let me know. Know that you're here with Daisha and hey, Pastor Brown, how are you? Good morning, Natalie. Has everybody had their cup of coffee? I'm still working on mine. I have a couple more in the pot and finish it out this morning. So glad you're here. You know, we're just going to jump into scripture this morning and uh, just share a few thoughts that I had about it with you and just uh, excited that you're here with me this morning and uh, take it with you throughout the day. So we're going to jump in. We're uh, reading Philippians 4, 4 through 7 this morning. This may be something very familiar to you. But as we get into it, um, I just want to share something that God uh, gave me about a year ago. So Philippians 4, 4 through 7 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Now, sometimes we just stop at the end of verse six because those two verses are so familiar to us. But <clears throat> do you notice in God's word that when he tells us something, he usually follows up with the promise. So I love that God just shares his promises with us. He's not just a God that demands things from us, but he tells us what will happen when we do those things. So let's look at verse seven. And this is what God gave me about a year ago as I sat in it. So verse seven says, and the peace of God. Now, if you stop right there, I've noticed that when I think about the peace of God, my stature just changes, tension releases, that there's a calmness that comes over me in that. So let's, let's finish out that verse. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. I just... I know that, that that calmness comes from God and he gives me what I need at that moment. And I know this is a big day for a lot of you. It's a big day for our teachers and our principals, our bus drivers, for moms and dads and students. As you walk into um, a new year that looks different, 
different from the rest. You know, your kiddos may be going into a physical school room or they could be going into your game room that you've made into a classroom. And I'm sure that has brought a lot of emotions. So I'm a mama of three and I remember getting into those new school routines that those brought a lot of emotions and feelings and and it just might be that way for you today. And I just want you to stop and remember in those moments of frustration when technology is not working or when your littles have a mini meltdown, just whisper those three words, peace of God, and see how that changes you, how the tension's released, how the calmness comes over you. Because when we say out our frustrations, that God has promised to give us that peace and he will guard our hearts and our minds from what Satan wants to speak into us. You know, he may say that this is hard. You can't do this. That, um, you know, you're, you're not good enough to, to teach your kids at home or whatever. Satan has a way of just speaking those untruths to us. And when we lift up our requests and our frustrations to God, he will bring that peace into us and he will guard our hearts and our minds. And I just love that. I just love that he is um, the God of truth and he gives us peace and he just walks with us through whatever we're going through. So I wanna pray right now for our kiddos that are starting this new routine for moms and dads who are walking with them, whether they're going into the physical classroom or into the classroom in your own game room, your living room, your kitchen table, wherever that might be. So if you will just pray with me right now, and we'll uh, just lift up these kiddos to God. Father, you, um, you are so good. You are a big God and you know all things and you just walk with us through it. <clears throat> Father, I pray in this day that you will um, flood us with your peace, the peace that passes all understanding, Father, that when we bring our request to you, you give us your peace, you will guard our hearts and our minds. Father, I pray for um, the moments in this day when frustration arises, when uh, tensions build, when Satan wants to step in into our minds and just tell us we're not good. But Father, that we remember that we are your children and that you love us and you care for us and you want the best for us. So Father, I just um, pray your blessings over our kiddos, our teachers, our principals, our bus drivers, Father, our moms and dads, that just as they step into this new routine, Father, that you are there and you are um, just with them. Father, I thank you for Jesus and his sacrifice and this day that you have given us. And I ask all this in your son's name. Amen. Hey, thank you so much for joining me this morning. I hope that um, something I said just triggers with you that you can take it with you and carry it throughout the day. And just remember when that frustration steps in that you remember God has the peace that you need. So have a great day. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and then head off to my kitchen table. That's now my office and uh, get my day started. I hope you have a good one. See you all later. Have a good one. Bye.